Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today's video is a little extra special. I've actually done um, two days of cleaning, morning time cleaning, and combined it into one. So I hope you guys really enjoy this. This is exactly what I do in the mornings after I have gotten up um, and gotten dressed. Uh, the first day, you guys, I didn't show you me fixing my room, but the second day I did. Um, so this is after me cleaning up my room or straightening up my bed and then heading downstairs and uh, cleaning up the kitchen to get the day started. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rosa and I am a mama of three boys. My oldest is 18, who's off to college, um, but also stays at home. My middle son is a freshman in high school and my youngest is 10, who is a fifth grader. And you will actually see the two younger ones um, in this video along with my 18 year old because I do, we do homeschool, um, a version of Florida virtual, <clears throat> excuse me. And so there's gonna be a moment where I have to stop with my cleaning to sit down and to go over some math and help my, my youngest son a little bit. So you guys will see some of that. But um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like it, please hit the like button, the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I post new videos. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Leave a comment down below. I love communicating and, and talking with you guys. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. as I strive to have a clean kitchen before I go to bed um, I am NOT the best at cleaning at night I run myself um, so much throughout the day in the morning that I don't have much energy in the evening time and so even trying to get my kids to do these these simple chores of helping out with the dishes sometimes I'm successful and sometimes I just am like don't worry about it guys I'll just do it in the morning and so that is just what I do with my kids. Um, they have a chore list. They know what that needs to get done, but just we are so busy as a family that sometimes we can't even get to those little chores. So yes, I do have, you know, dishes in the sink in the morning time, but it's just part of life. Um, I used to struggle, uh, leaving or leaving dishes in the sink, but I think I've, I've successfully given that, um, part of me up. So by the time you guys will see this, this is actually Monday's video. So by the time you guys are watching this, I have, today is my first official day with starting with keto. Um, I'm excited about it, but I'm also nervous because I love my fruit. Um, papaya, I love cantaloupe. So I've been working on changing my coffee, which I, I think I've got it down um, because I didn't wanna just start hardcore and not like it. Um, because I know I have to cut out my creamer and, um, I'm just, I'm not an artificial flavor kind of gal, even though I've, I've tried so many different kinds. I just don't like the aftertaste or the taste. I'm just not for it. So I figured out a way to do my coffee, which I'm excited about. Um, but I knew I had some fruit around the house that I just purchased and I needed to hurry up and eat them. So I'm cutting up my papaya and I've already cut up my cantaloupe. Um, to enjoy and I would have to say they're both gone. <laughs> I have eaten them um, with the help of my kids and um, I will not be buying any more papaya or cantaloupe. If you have any tricks or advice or tips on this journey of keto, 
please let me know. Um, what's your story? How did you do? Are there's anything that you need, you struggled with? Um, because I struggle with any form of dieting and I don't want to call this dieting. I just want to call it um, a way of eating because if I can get on this pretty easily and from what I've read, it seems pretty easily, then this will be something that I could, you know, stay on and enjoy. So let me know what you guys um, think. Give me some tips. And yes, you do see some alcohol there. I don't know how I'm going to let go. I'm not going to drink all this beer and alcohol <laughs> before the weekend or throughout the weekend or by Monday. But um, but yeah, let me know what you guys what you guys think. Give me some tips. Give me some advice. sweet that my littlest one wanted to sleep in the room with me and so he pulled out the futon and got all his little stuffed animals pulled out a blanket and used my husband's pillow to you know come upstairs and sleep with me he is banned from sleeping in the bed with me because he is a kicker 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 and I've warned him if he kicks me I kick back <laughs> so I've kicked him out of my bed that's what I've done so I told him he is no longer to sleep with me he if if he is wanting to slumber with me, uh, you know, whatever, he needs to sleep on the futon.
Hey guys, I just wanted to pop on really, really quickly and just thank you guys again for watching and welcome you if you are new to my channel. Um, I hope you guys, you know, consider sticking around and uh, hitting the like button if you like this video. Again, this is over two days. Um, wanted to show you what I do in the morning time. I don't really have a set cleaning regimen in the morning. I just get it done. I just find whatever needs to get picked up, whatever needs to get cleaned, needs to get cleaned. <laughs> so this is what I do every single morning unless I create a list. Um, and I actually did a video based off of a checklist. I will leave that at the end here um, so that you guys can uh, use that for some motivation. Um, but I hope this motivated you and I just wanna thank you guys again. So much love, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.